Alan Doyle, welcome to Winterton, hey. Newfoundland. Give yourself a round of applause. This is going to be a thrill. I don't know how many of you have laid the keel for a, you know, a 30 odd foot schooner in your lives, but I never have, and I'm getting the chance to do that today. Uh, welcome everyone to the Winterton uh, Wooden Boat Museum of Newfoundland and Labrador. This is uh, an auspicious day, a great day for the, this is the official opening of this season for the museum. Uh, and that would be good enough. That would be reason enough to have a grand celebration. But as it turns out, we're starting uh, in conjunction with Cupid's 400. We're starting a, an amazing, uh, I, I think, an absolutely amazing opportunity for people to participate in the rebuilding of a piece of North American history. Uh, that piece of wood that sits in front of you right there is, you know, basically the rebuilding of what I consider to be one of the most important vessels. In, in, the, in the building of, of the new world. And uh, I, one of the reasons I, I find this whole place so fascinating is uh, the, the fact that we, it's a celebration of you know, the most important car, I think, in the new world. Long before the Mr. Ford made one or whatever, this was it. This was the highway. And uh, one of the reasons our, you know, our great nation and, and, and province of Newfoundland and Labrador has made its way through the last five or six hundred years is because good people and smart people, way smarter than me, learned how to go into the woods and, and turn that stick of wood into a boat that floated and caught fish. And I, tell you, I was joking about it when it came earlier. I said, how many generations of Alan Dial people would be, on the, would be in the world before we'd figure out how to make a boat? You know, I mean, Allentown, you know, would, would be one of these villages where people still, you know, just ate rocks and stuff out of the ground. <laughs> I'd like to think that the parties there would be fantastic, <laughs> but the technology wouldn't be so great. And this is a celebration of, of what, what literally one of the biggest reasons why we're all here. And uh, if you don't mind a round of applause, I'd like to congratulate the board of the museum and everybody for... Uh, <laughs> so, um, our official, so again, our, our, we have two jobs officially today. Uh, our first one is to officially open the season at the museum, and our second one is to officially kick off the rebuilding of the Endeavour. And uh, I could tell you a little bit about that, but uh, it, it, there are people here who are way better off to tell than me. Now let me check my notes to make sure I'm not uh, um, getting ahead of myself, and I don't think I am. I think the next, the next thing we should discuss is why we're here in this particular building and why we're rebuilding the Endeavour. Uh, and there's a couple of gents here who are going to talk about it, uh, at, at hopefully much more, uh, much more detail than myself. And they're, uh, they'll introduce a bunch of people who are here along the way. Uh, Mr. Dick Wynn is here. He's here. And Mr. Gerald Smith. Now, I just met, I just met these guys and they look good. Hold on, fellas. <laughs> And, uh, no, they don't mind telling the lies. My favorite kind of people. Uh, the guys are going to let us know what's so significant about this vessel that we're rebuilding, and uh, they're responsible for most of the research that went into the lot of the panels you see inside and stuff. Anyway, please give them a round of applause. Gerald Wood. Gerald. 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 